Na sasa mtazamaji tuelekee Mombasa ambapo walimu wakuu wa shule za msingi walizua vurugu katika kongamano lao wakimtaka mwenyekiti wao Shemdolo kungatuka uongozini kwa sababu za ubadhirifu wa fedha. Hata hivyo Ndolo amedai kwamba haendi kokote na kumlaumu ama kulaumu vurugu hilo kwa kusababishwa na naibu wake wa chama cha NAT. Tobias Chanji na taarifa hiyo kwa kina. Uh, I'm a member of Kenity. I'm, I'm subscribing. A strange member. I'm giving them a lot of money. It is my it is my union, but when you talk of like the lo localization and appraisal things that are in place and things that can be put on a table and people agree and also a policy. Ni madai ambayo mwenye kiti huyo aliyasema jana wakati wa kikao na wanabari na kumweka pabaya na walimu hao ambao alitoa semi za kukashifu ongozi wake na kumtaka ondoke mkutanoni. <laughs> baada kufaulu kumondoa kwenye kongamano walimlimbikizia makosa licha ya jitihada za mwenyekiti huyo kuwaambia waache mzaha ilikuwa wazi kuwa alipandisha mori zao Tunasema kwa kauli moja the entire office of capture nationally waende wakifuata ndolo yao he cannot come down to start waging a war on teachers walimu alisisitiza mkutano huo hautaendelea hadi naibu mwenyekiti Nicholas Gathatu achukue uskani we are not ready for his apology so let him go hata hivyo mwenyekiti huyo alikaidi amri yao kwa kuwa alichaguliwa kihalali na kusisitiza hamna fedha zozote zilizofujwa setting to my share my deputy went to the dais who provoked them that they should adopt my speech a speech that had never been adopted since the inception of kepsa so i think uh, uh, as for me nobody no, nobody echoed me i finished i sat well they, they were provoked by my defeat baada ya kushuhudiwa kwa vurugu leo asubuhi ambayo ni siku ya kwanza ya kongamano hili la walimu viongozi wa Kepsha waliitwa na naibu kamisha na wakatuzi dogo la Kisauni kwa maelezo sahihi kuelezea kile kilichojiri kwa sasa haijabainika ikiwa rais Uhuru Kenyatta atahudhuria kongamano hili hapo kesho Tobias Chanji KTN News